This place great or what? It is great. Well, you know, since we're building this Land Cruiser for Amy, I thought the best way to figure out what we should do with the suspension, either keep it stock height or raise it, would be to bring two cars out. So we've got a stock FJ Cruiser, All right. no lift, then a Wrangler with a four inch lift, 35 inch tires. This will be a good way to figure out what we should do. Follow me. Let's go. This lifted Wrangler is just pure 4x4 four four meant to tear up the woods, whereas the stock FJ, it's all about drivability. What we need to decide is what's best for Amy and her family so they can take it mudding and drive it every day. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Woo! <laughs> Watch out, Rob! Oh, I love hearing George scream. OK, wow. <laughs> Amy's FJ may be more basic than this new one, but as far as their off-road capability, not much has changed over the years. Oh, man, I love driving off-road. Isn't this fun? A way to see the country. Uh, this is a little bit of a tight turn. Lifted suspension and the 35-inch tires on this Wrangler make it far less maneuverable. Definitely a disadvantage in tight spots. There is something to be said about how good this FJ Cruiser is in stock form. You know, it's lighter, it's smaller, and it has a smaller footprint. Ooh. Oh, this is big. Can the FJ Cruiser do it? Ooh, I just saw you drag there, buddy. Yeah, that got a little close there. I might have bumped it underneath. Yeah, let's see how much I bumped. I didn't feel a bump. So maybe, maybe a little lift isn't a bad thing. Lift kits and big tires cut a clean, wide path through the woods, but they also raise the vehicle's center of gravity, which makes it easier to flip over which is bad. Whoa! Oh! Damn. I think you're a little bit more nimble. I sort of sometimes feel that I'm a little big out here. That's how I felt most of my life. 